Hello everyone! My name is Robin and I am the Community Engagement Coordinator for The Mountain Play. First and foremost, we want to send all of you our love and well wishes to you, your friends and your family. We hope that everyone is able to stay safe and stay healthy. It's in times like these and situations like these that we find ourselves where the arts and practicing the arts is incredibly healing and so important. So we'd like to take a few moments to share some delightful joy. Since we are a theater company, we have theater games that we can share with you that you might be able to share with the rest of your uh, family that you are staying with. These are all easy improv games that take up to two to five people. So without, oh, and the last thing is that it all requires an agreement. So everyone who's playing, there's just three things that everyone must agree to. One, you want to make your partner look like the most impressive, important, best partner ever. You want to make them feel like the most intelligent human being on this planet. Two, yes and. So that means whatever the partner gives to you in the games that you play, you accept those situations and then you build on them. So yes and. And lastly, fail gloriously. This is a great uh, agreement for everyone to recognize that sometimes things are going to work out or things are going to come out of your mouth that you weren't expecting to, and that's a great thing to happen in improv. This is how, again, arts can be so healing and wonderful. So the first game that I'm going to show you really quickly is called Three Things. You stand in a circle. You can do this with two people. And you can just, the game starts out with you saying three things. And then one person starts by asking, name three things that are green. And then the next person has to come up with three things. Now, the first several rounds that you play this, those things can be whatever come into your head. It could be round, blue, earth. And then everyone, after you say those three things, you say three things. And then the next person says a list of things. So three things that have hats on. And you could say plants, trees, corkscrews, three things, and so on and so forth. Now, if you want to get really cool is when the second round of games, the, the three things that you say actually have to kind of match what uh, is the question is. But for the first several rounds, whatever comes to your head, just say it out loud. And again, it's yes and from the rest of the group. The second game, that's a really fun one. It's a great storytelling game. It's called Porky. So one person in the room decides on an object. You just say it out loud. You say, the object is grass. And then one person in the room who comes up with something in their own memories, basically, uh, you say, that brings me back to a time when I was in the park and my friend's dog, I was walking my friend's dog and we went into the ba baseball courts and after so much playing, I end up getting stitches. Something like that. And then you tell a short memory of whatever that object is and then from that memory, after you've finished, you pick one object that is part of that memory, say stitches, and then the next person has a chance to share something that they have about stitches. And again, it could be what was referred to or a brand new memory, memory say sewing stitches into a pillowcase or something like that. So those are two really rad games. We want to give you more games um, every post, so keep, a, 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 um, keep, out, keep your eyes out for the, our, our other improv game posts. And if you would like to post your improv games just to encourage other people to do the same thing, please do. Just hashtag the mountain play. Thanks so much, guys. Again, stay happy, stay healthy, stay safe, and practice the arts. They heal.